everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a non-exact differential equation. So let's get started. Problem: Solve to x y square minus y into dx plus x dy equals to zero. Solution: Given differential equation is. Two x y square minus y into dx plus x dy equals to zero. Consider the equation number one. So here we are having this is a m dx plus n dy equals to zero, right? M dx plus n dy equals to zero form where m equals to two x y square minus y and n equals to x. Okay. Do m by do y. We know that if do m by do y is equals to do m by do x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. So firstly, let's find partial derivative of m with respect to y. It's always good to check whether the given equation is exact or not. Okay. That is, uh, if the equation is in m dx plus n dy equals to zero form. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x is treated as constant and 2 is also constant. So, constant into partial derivative of y square minus partial derivative of y equals to 2x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y minus partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equals to 4xy minus 1. Right. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do y do x. So for n equals to x. Partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. It's clear that partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Right. So here the given differential equation is exact. Okay, therefore, do m by do y equals to 4xy minus 1 and do n by do x equals to 1. Therefore, 1 is non-exact. Right. Fine. Now, consider the given equation. can write this as 2xy square dx minus y dx plus x dy equals to 0, right? Again, 2xy square dx. If you take minus common, you get minus of y dx minus x dy equals to 0. So now we have to choose the suitable differential. Okay? We have differential x by y equals to y dx minus x dy by y square right so here also we are having differential dx so it will be better if you have terms of x okay to integrate hmm? but here you are having y square if you can eliminate this y square it is easy to integrate right so here if you divide it by y square, you can apply this formula, right? So, what could be the integrating factor here? Integrating factor, suitable integrating factor is 1 by y square, right? So, this becomes, you can divide the whole equation by y square or simply you can multiply the whole equation by 1 by y square. So, Let's multiply with integrating factor that is 1 by y square into 2xy square dx minus of y dx minus x dy equals to 0. Right. Then, first term 2xy square into dx by y square 
or simply minus second term y dx minus x dy whole divided by y square equals to 0. It will be easy, right? So that now you can split the total expression into 2. 2xy square by y square into dx minus y dx minus x dy by y square equals to 0, right? So here y square gets cancelled and you can replace it by differential x by y. Then 2x dx minus differential since we know that y dx minus x dy by y square equals to differential x by y, right? Equals to 0. Now, we can integrate on both sides by integrating we'll get 2 integral x dx minus integral differential x by y equals to 0. So, after integrating, you can write the constant, okay? So, here 1 by y square is our integrating factor. Fine. This becomes 2 into integral x dx is x squared by 2 minus integral. We know that integral d theta equals to theta, right? Then integral d into x by y, that is differential x by y is x by y equals to integral constant. Then you can cancel 2 here. Take LCM y, in the numerator you will get x square y minus x equals to c, then x square my x square y minus x equals to c y is the required general solution. Therefore, the general solution is x square y minus x equals to c y. Okay, fine. Now, we'll show you the reduced equation is exact or not. Okay, it's not necessary to write in the paper during examination. But if you want to check, we can check it. Okay, 2xy square minus y into dx plus x dy equals to 0 is a given equation, right? If you multiply it with the integrating factor, you will get this, right? Then, 2xy square minus y by y square into dx plus xy y square into dy equals to 0, right? Then, 2xy square by y square minus y by y square to dx plus x by y square into dy equals to 0, right? So here y square gets cancelled and 1 y gets cancelled. So the reduced equation is 2x minus 1 by y into dx plus x by y square into dy equals to 0, right? 2x minus 1 by y into dx plus x by y square into dy equals to 0, right? Now, Resolve m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? So let's represent it by m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 for our convenience. We have m1 equals to 2x minus 1 by y and n1 equals to x by y square. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to dou by dou y of 2x minus 1 by y since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x will be treated as constant this is equals to partial derivative of 2x that is constant minus partial derivative of 1 by y this is equals to partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 minus partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square which is equal to 1 by y square right so 
we are having dou m1 by dou y equals to minus sorry 1 by y square. So now let's find partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. This is equals to dou y dou x or for n1 equals to x by y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so 1 by y square will be treated as constant. So you can write the above as 1 by y square into dou y dou x of x. That is partial derivative of x with respect to x is equals to 1 by y square into, we know that partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equals to 1 by y square. So what partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is 1 by y square. It is clear that dou m1 by dou y is equals to dou n1 by dou x. So from this we can say that the reduced equation is an exact. That is the equation after multiplying with integrating factor is an exact. Right? Therefore, dou m1 by dou y equals to 1 by y square equals to dou n1 by dou x. Therefore, reduced equation is exact. Okay, this is the verification. So, we have seen an equation from non-exact differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.